Good afternoon, Valen family. Let us prepare for today's exam by embracing stillness. We find a comfortable position to keep our bodies still. We slow down our breathing. We still our minds by clearing our thoughts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tomorrow, October 10th, Pope Francis will beatify Carlo Acutis. He was only 15 years old when he died in 2006 of leukemia. He was buried wearing Nike sneakers, jeans, and a windbreaker jacket. He loved to play PlayStation, but disciplined himself to only play for one hour per week. His mother tells us that from a young age, Carlo was devoted to the rosary and went to Mass as often as he could after receiving his first Holy Communion. He spent hours before the Blessed Sacrament and went to confession every week. He built a website to inform people about Eucharistic miracles. On the website, he told his viewers, the more often we receive the Eucharist, the more we will become like Jesus, so that on this earth, we will have a foretaste of heaven. Have we ever considered the possibility of becoming a saint? Everyone in heaven is a saint, even if they are not recognized here on earth as such. Do I believe that when my time comes, I will go to heaven? Is it something I am looking forward to? Do I have any doubts about my own salvation? Take a moment to consider your thoughts and feelings about what lies ahead. Like you, Carlo attended a Jesuit school, and on his tomb is the familiar IHS symbol of the Jesuits. Do I see Belen as just another of many Catholic schools I could have attended? What does it mean to me that I attend a Jesuit school? Recall any gifts or graces you are aware of for being a student of a Jesuit school and give thanks for them. Carlo had a very special love for the Eucharist and tried to spread that love through his website. Let us examine our relationship with the Eucharist. What is the Eucharist for us? Is it a thing or is it a person? Is it a thing we receive at the end of Mass because that is what we are supposed to do? Do we really recognize Jesus present in the Eucharist? Do we really encounter Jesus within ourselves after we consume the Eucharist? Do we share that presence with others after we have been dismissed from Mass? Take a moment to consider what role the Eucharist plays in your life. Carlo's parents had wanted his organs to be donated at the time of his death, but because of the leukemia, they were not viable. Instead, his heart will be preserved as a relic to be displayed at the Basilica of St. Francis in Assisi. If Jesus looked into your heart right now, what would he find? Would he see apathy, a sense of not caring about anything outside of myself, or empathy, a sense of caring for others before yourself. Consider what is in your heart at this very moment. If you find virtue, be thankful for that indwelling of the Holy Spirit. If you find fault, ask for forgiveness and a renewal of your heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Lady of Belen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Venerable Carlo Acutis, intercede for us. Saint Joseph, guard and defend us. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend.